how are we going to uh, worm our way into seeing one of the wolves? Start a small fire. Oh my god, that is your go-to tactic. <laughs> Light a child on fire, like in the opening scene. It's not clear to me that that's what we were looking at. I'm not really sure. Looked just like a flaming child to me. Well, but the kid was... Did he get caught in the flames, or was that some kind of weird montage? Course. A dual mount. Wow. Dual mount? That means that we could dub some tape. <laughs> I always thought that they would use this in the first game, and then they didn't. I was speaking with one of your boys out front, uh... Uh, Greg, was it? No, there's no Greg on staff here. Do you mean Thomas? Hmm, we got him to say the name. Oh, jeez. So that's going to come up. We're going to have to do Let's give some it a shot. bullshit splicing. <sighs> <laughs> this is not that hard because... Um, if you choose the wrong word, he'll tell you that it's wrong. And if you choose the right word, he won't let you delete it. He'll be like, no, I'm happy with that. So you could just do this by trial and error. Um, most of the things you need are contiguous. Show our wolves to... To whom? Yeah, to Mr. Knight. That'll work. Thomas, Herr Dr. Klingman here. Show our words to Mr. Knight. Do you think that Dr. Klingman talks to Thomas in English over the walkie-talkie? Seems unlikely. Mm -mm. Gotta love it. I think that uh, they they drop the internal logic a lot of the time. Uh particularly regarding the language, which, you know, okay, fine. It would be inconvenient. Yeah. Too. But at other points, it becomes a, a major obstacle that, um, that Gabriel speaks no German and doesn't carry a dictionary with him, and I, I don't know, he just, like, you have to have things translated so that, that people know. That must be know. the entrance to the wolf habitat. And you can't just, like, go buy a dictionary. You have to go to somebody <laughs> that you know who speaks German and ask him. Well. You also, this is kind of unfair, too. You have to just try this and come into his office and notice that he's not there. May as well rifle through his belongings. Oh, yeah. But there's nothing there. Is this your rifling music? This is rifling music. It's very dramatic. Mm. <laughs> But his walkie-talkie's there. It's pretty hard to see. A walkie-talkie. You just wave your mouse around until you find something. Yeah. Nothing. Not doing anything. <laughs> you might want it to have had this ready. Yeah. Thomas? Thomas? Yeah, Thomas here. Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Yeah, okay, Herr Doctor. Good thing he didn't ask any questions. Yeah. Like, are you sure? Why? Really? Maybe now? Maybe that's German discipline. They were just following orders. Hmm. Mr. Knight? I'm afraid I was just about to leave. That's all right. Perhaps another day. 
Perhaps. Good luck with your work, Mr. Knight. After you. Why does he have a jacket on already? He wears two jackets. Maybe. It's an unusual number. Oh, hello, Mr. Knight. I have orders to show you one of the wolves. Really? That would be swell. Please stay calm and go slow. They don't like strangers. No problem. I definitely won't try to steal fur from one. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. And pretty goddamn stupid. Yep, because they bite. They're quite bitey. Bitiness is pretty much how they still exist. When they do. Humans are better at, like, murder stuff, but wolves are not bad. This is a special treat to use to make them come to me. They love it. Marguerite! Come here! Come all here, Machen! She's like, no, that guy's creepy. Look at his hair. <clears throat> Marguerite! Schau mal, was ich hier hab! Come all here! Hey, girl. Good girl. Ah, how strange she likes you. I have a way with women. Mm. <laughs> ironic. Because as I said, he's wearing a tag. All the wolves here wear them. Don't do that. What? Stop that I'm just at once. Hitting the anim the wild animal. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Does that. Does that seem like a bad idea? Sorry. I'm pocketing this fur for no reason. Hmm. Don't worry, it's behind a fence. You should not have done that, Mr. Knight. She seems so tame, just like a dog. Wolf is not dog, Mr. Knight. Sorry, really. Yeah, well, at least nothing happened. Are you done here now? Yeah, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll put in a good word for you with Klingman. Oh, wunderbar. It's almost like he doesn't appreciate being endangered. God, what a jerk. I swear that is not the icon that I clicked. Hair for Marguerite. It's gray. Yup. As in not red. This is the receipt. Yagshine means... It looks like a receipt. That means hunting license, but Gabriel doesn't know that, so we have to find a way to to teach him that that's what it means. There's also some... Um, There's some carbon on the back, but I can't make out what it says. I mean, really? You can't just transpose the letters? I can do that, I think, in my head. So we have to go find a fucking mirror. So that Gabriel can read Because he can't read, read backward. What's wrong with How him? about the mirror in the car that or he's that. currently in? Yeah. No. The only mirror that you can use is the mirror inside the Huber house. Somebody had to, like, sit and think and, like, film all of these random yes. little... It was probably expensive. Oh, my God, the clock. Some people actually the have those clocks Kona in there. glitch. A rich half jad love. 54 Dina Strasse. 54 Dina Strasse. The Koniglich by Rich Hofstadt Lodge means the Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge. Why in the hell would a zoo official have a hunting license and a receipt from a hunting lodge? 
Because he both studies and shoots wolves. Yeah, and he's really weird about it. Let's talk to the cops. Yeah. Can I in and behelflich sein? Probably not. Good tag. Um, do you speak English? Nein, ich spreche kein Englisch. Really? Was möchten Sie bitte? Great. Uh, Lieber. Criminal Commissar Lieber. Is he here? <laughs> Commissar Lieber? Wer möchte mit ihm sprechen? Wen? Sie sind? Sie. Me. Oh. Ja. Oh. Yeah. oh. Right. This is the theme from the original game. Writer. You know, books. That's me. The police theme from the first game. No, books. Because it was yeah. so me. good. Yes. Commissar Leber, bitte. Can er hier kommen? Tut mir leid. Commissar Leber ist zu beschäftigt. Er hat absolut keine Zeit. Nein, er kann sie leider nicht sehen. Er ist zu beschäftigt. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, mein Herr. Die Tour. Right, thanks. Bitte. We're gonna have to find out another way to uh, to get at the police. We could commit a crime. Yeah, that's probably it. What, how, how about we light a fire? Yeah, totally. <laughs> and get arrested for arson. That seems like a solid plan. It put us in contact with the police, for sure. And the fire department. I think maybe Jane Jensen just wanted to take a photo tour. Mm. This is what she came back That's with. That's me. Mmm, sausage. Weisswurst. Six marks. Hack flesh. That sounds yummy. <laughs> hack flesh. What it is might. hack flesh? Um. No, no. Some kind of meat. Yeah. Hack? Hack? I guess that woman was looking at Gabriel's ass. <laughs> Gabriel shows, consistently shows, uh, Little to no interest in women. He's cute. Ja? Herr Knight ist hier, um Sie zu sehen. Herr Knight? Uh, ach ja. Ja, senden Sie doch herein. I didn't feel the need to translate that. Mr. Knight. Short so good to find to meet you. I like it's it. good to meet you. Please, come in. Please. Hey, Obergrau. <laughs> Hell, you're just a pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my age. Well, I I hope you don't. You're not disappointed. Oh, me? No, I, I just never had a family lawyer before. I guess I was expecting Matlock or something. <laughs> so you finally decided to visit Munich, yes? Yep, I'm here doing some research. Well, anything at all I can do to help. My secretary and I are at your disposal. Oh, really? Thank you. Kids, Matlock was a show about an, a really old lawyer. Old people really liked it. We have a lot to talk to Uber Grau about. I suppose about. that's your name on the marquee. Uh, I'm sorry? Uber Grau, Hoffman and Schnell. Ah, uh, actually, no. Um, this is my grandfather's firm. I'm just a junior partner. And I, my assignment to your family was no insult. I was 
chosen because of my English. Um, I took my law training at Harvard, you see. <laughs> Hell, son, I, I don't care if you're a junior partner or a mail clerk. I'm just glad somebody's taking care of the paperwork. Um, you know, the firm has the utmost respect for the Ritters. I will do everything possible in your behalf. Appreciate it. Your letter mentioned that the title transfer for the Ritter estate went through? Uh, yes. We had a bit of a task proving that you were a legitimate blood heir, but um, well, that's all settled now. I must tell you, we were beginning to get quite worried about the Ritter holdings. Like, well, we've had a policy, my grandfather really, of um, waiving our fees for important old accounts, but unfortunately the government is not so generous. It was quite a miracle when you appeared, Mr. Knight. <clears throat> Prodigal son makes good. And my great uh, uncle just had to tear his heart out for that Is to there happen. anything special I should know about Munich? No, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, you've picked up a little German, haven't you? No, you've he's been an here, idiot. But um, almost a year? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I have been here that long. I, but my faculty for languages leaves stupid. some to be desired. <laughs> well, most Germans speak a little English. If you need anything translated, you can always bring it to me. Hmm. What is a jagshin, jagshine? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, jagshin. Uh, it is a permit for killing animals, you know, a sport. You mean hunting? It's a hunting license? Yes, hunting license. What would a zoo official want with a hunting license? Indeed. To shoot animals. Well, I, they're not usually the hunting type, I would guess. Do you know anything about the mutilation killings? The mutilation killings? Well, no, I... Oh, my God, Hannah, this, is that what you're researching here in Munich? I read your last book, you know. <sighs> Really? Well, that's above and beyond the call of duty. Not at all. I love detective fiction. Philip Marlowe, all that. The uh, voodoo murders. That was based on a real case, was it not? Loosely. So you know nothing about the mutilation killings? Well, only that those missing zoo wolves have attacked and partially eaten people out in the country. If you are researching this case, and I, I would be happy to assist. It's rather exciting, isn't it? I mean, you don't plan on getting too um, close to the actual wolves, I hope. Um, I'd rather not. Well, thanks for your offer. I may take you up on that. It would be very imprudent to get close to a wolf and pet it. Yeah. Do you know anyone with a background in animal biology? Animal biology uh, for your research? Right. Hmm, let me think. Um. I have one client who's a professor at the university. Let's bug Maybe him. Maybe he knows someone there. Let me check. I couldn't quite make out what the guy was saying during this. It doesn't really matter. Ding! Yeah, Herr Dr. Speigel, bitte. Herr Dr. Speigel? Yeah. Wie geht's Ihnen? Ich bin's übergrau. Mm -hmm. Ich bräuchte den Namen eines Experten in Tierbiologie. Oh, das könnte funktionieren. Ja? Ja, sehr gut. Recht herzlichen Dank. Ihnen auch. Äh, auf Wiederhören. So, <lacht> gut. There is a lab at the University Biology Department. They may be able to help you there. Just tell them how Dr. Speigel sent you. Sounds great. Thanks. What room? What building? Yeah, that'd be helpful. Where are they going to be? Have you ever heard of the Koniglich Bay Rich Hofjad Lodge? Uh, Königlich Bayerische Hofjagdloge. Hmm, uh, no, it sounds like a men's sport club. What does the name translate to exactly? Oh, the Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge, more or less. A hunting lodge, huh? Well, well. So now we've 
gotten Gabriel to. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Well, enjoy your stay. Like, I don't even think he knows that Byrich is Bavarian. Anyway, th this is um, Wienstrasse. This is uh, Marion Platz. Um, but we could walk to the right, which I will do, but it's, it's faster to go to the university at this point. We have two hair samples and a big-ass paw print. So I guess we're gonna bother some. Is it an? Is it a graduate student? Can I help you? Hi, is there someone here that speaks English? I speak English. Uh, were you looking for the biology lab? Yes, my name is Gabriel Knight. I was recommended to you by Herr Doctor Spiegel. Ah, yes. Uh, my name is Michael. I'll do the work for you whenever you're ready. Wasn't the doctor's name Spiger? Well, that was the guy that we were supposed to talk to, but maybe there's a different. Here, Dr. Spiker is who recommended him. But he would, well. Could you analyze this hair? He, he said Spiegel. Hmm. Maybe they changed their mind halfway See. through and didn't go back and. <laughs> I guess for that guy, it was close enough. Yeah. His advisor came down and was like, there's going to be some dumbass American showing up. Just help him. Hmm, what, uh, what kind of hair is it? Well, I was kind of hoping you'd tell me. Uh, probably I can. It's K9, I think. Gray, the tips are lighter, which indicates something with a thick undercoat. Hmm? Can you identify the species? Let me see. Yeah. Is that your big hmm. book of hair? Yep, it's the hair book. He has it handy. Okay. Bing. Hmm. Hmm. It's not dog hair. It looks more like wolf. Uh-huh. Aha, here it is. Canis lupus lupus, European wolf. Terrific. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Well, we knew that. The sign told us it was Canis lupus lupus. Could you look at this hair sample now? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, this is not the same as the other hair. It isn't. No, uh, very different. Maybe wolf, though. Same as the other, but not the same species. Not the same species, are you sure? Let me see. Hmm. Why did you put away the hair book? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's definitely not Canis lupus lupus. It doesn't match any of the other wolf species in the book, either. It's not dog hair. So? What is it? It could be, um, how do you say, a uh, mix-up? A mix-up? You mean a hybrid? Hybrid? Oh, is that when the wolf and the dog... Uh, yeah? <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, could be a hybrid, maybe. Wolf, dog, uh, two wolf species. A wolf and something else. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It's more wolf than dog, but it doesn't match any species in the book, you see? I see. If it's not Thanks. in the hair book, it could not possibly be real. Maybe we need to talk to a cryptozoologist. Could you look at a paw print for me? Well, sure. that's a okay. <laughs> I guess. God, this is heavy. What is this, cement? Uh, it's all out of plaster Ding. Paris. Mm. And the, the, the way they wrote Gabriel, he's not a total idiot mm. in this game. Yeah. Like, he can think of hybrid. He's Like, he's not a total moron, you know? Mm. <laughs> like, we, mm. we would reasonably think he could do things. That's the paw book. Yeah. Keeps it with the hair book. Wolf? Really? Can you tell what species? <laughs> it is impossible to tell from a print. Uh, except. Except? Yeah, I thought so. It is very big for a wolf. Very big. Looks like uh, maybe 68, 70 kilograms. 
And that's big for a wolf. This is huge. Most wolves don't weigh so much as they look. The hair is thicker, which makes them look bigger. But that's why I checked the book. Most species don't get so big. How big does Canis lupus lupus get? On average, uh, 38 to 40 kilograms. The North American wolf, 35 kilograms. Uh, only the Alaskan timber wolf maybe gets so big, but even for that species, 70 kilograms would be huge. Could a um, hybrid get that big? Sure. A hybrid uh, might be bigger than a wolf. The other species were big, a very big dog, uh, perhaps. See, the paw print looks like a wolf, but that doesn't mean the whole animal looks like a wolf. Very interesting. Thanks. The rest of it could be a kitty cat. Mm-hmm. I think the uh, I have to go. zoo oh, wolves minute, theory is... I should give you a report to take with you. Yeah. It summarizes my impressions of the two hair samples and the paw print. Yeah? He wrote four words. Mm. Also, I like Great. how he like, cares to write it tonight. down. Like, if you were interested, you should write that shit down yourself. <laughs> In yeah. what universe does the guy take notes for you? Hey, he's a German researcher in biology. I don't know what they're like. So we don't think that the zoo wolves are responsible for this, but Klingman is certainly a suspicious character who... Cuckoo clocks. No more clocks. We might think that Klingman is somehow involved if a werewolf wanted to go on a killing spree. Swiss and German watches. It might be handy to have some escaped wolves out and be able to blame those wolves for th the killings that you are perpetrating. That is certainly the case. Rat house. <laughs> That's a town hall. Riddisburg has one too. It's, it's not. A, it's not a house with rats. <laughs> I hate the house that's full of rats. Let's check out the rat house. Got another square inside it. She almost seems to be watching me. That must be the famous Munich Glockenspiel. Hmm. Definitely somebody's vacation photos. Kind of bizarrely photoshopped with like a like a purple vignette. I don't know what the deal with that is. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't <laughs> understand that stuff even when it's in English. Excuse me? Could you repeat that? Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand that All stuff right. even when it's in English. Nietzsche and Kant? Yeah. Usually you don't say it quite like that. Didn't they think maybe, like, uh, uh excuse, it's, it's actually Kant? Yes. It's <laughs> they didn't want to go over that again? It's not. Who's playing? It's a little callback. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. They're busy. We could throw them some money. So Dina Strasse is the... Is that street. where the diners are? Yes. That's the street that was on the receipt. Yes. Where I assume the diners are. <sighs> yes, we're going to a diner. Like it's diners. a post office. I haven't been to a diner in a really long time. That's not true. I was at a diner last time I was in New Jersey, which was only a few months ago. As you do. Better mail that letter to Gracie. We're eating dinner at like 11 p.m. Where are you going to do that except a diner? I don't think that the the um, the time makes sense. Like Grace gets this letter basically at the beginning of the like like she gets it like an email. Mail is fast. I don't think it's that fast. Yeah, no. I'd but give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Anyway, uh, we play half the game as as uh, as Grace. Even their trash cans are clean in this city. So the next chapter is all is all Grace. Fifty four Dina Strass. Okay. 
got a pretty sign. <laughs> it is. It's be a nice place. I'm sure they won't mind us barging in. No. The Germans are warm and friendly people. Are they? It's what they're principally known for. That's all I can think of. Entschuldige Sie bitte, aber das ist ein privater Club. Guten Tag. Um, we get. Oh God, you have mistakenly entered a private establishment. This is the Koniglitch Bay Richthofen Lodge, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you have business here? Smug face. I'd like to play with my hair. Mm. You wouldn't be in the market for a taxidermist, would you? No. Hmm. <laughs> the guy doesn't think that's funny. My name's Gabriel Knight. I'm an avid hunter. I was given your name by a friend. Really? Tell me more. Uh, okay. Well, me and the boys back home, <laughs> we're always out shooting them pesky animals. Critters, you I mean? thought I'd look you up <laughs> while I was in town, you know, uh, get a few pointers. Huh. Well, that warms my heart, but I'm afraid you were misled. This is a very exclusive club. We only accept members of very prominent German families. Ritters. I'm a Ritter. Ritter, Ritter, Ritter. Hmm. You uh, mentioned the terms of your membership. I am a member of a prominent German family. Oh, and what family might that be? My grandfather was one of the Ritters of Rittersburg. Bitte, I've heard of the name. Can you prove you're a direct descendant? You're not gonna just take my word for it? No. Do you have proof? What, on me? As it happens, I do not. I'm sure Lawyer Boy can help us with that. Yeah, let's go talk to Uber Grau. They don't advertise it, but if you put your cursor in the corner, you can just skip to the other side. It makes things a lot less aggravating than the original game. Is that like a meat awning above the meat store? You think? Like it the awning is made of meat? Well, or made to look like meat. Hmm. It looks kind of meaty. That's classy. Yeah. Ah, how nice. Have a seat. That's one comely uh, <laughs> How are you? secretary. Yeah. And again, Gabriel shows zero interest. Would you say the Ritter family tree is respectable? Absolutely. The Ritters can trace Germanic roots back a thousand years. Uh, do y'all have any paperwork on file that would prove that? Yes, we had to supply a family tree for the title transfer. Would you like a copy? Uh, please. That way I won't have to pay the more. Frau Hogel, können Sie mir bitte eine Kopie von dem Familienstammbaum der Ritters für Herrn Neid machen? Schönen Dank. I mean, do you hear that? That's how they actually speak in Germany. Could you a copy of Mr. Knight's family tree Thanks. make? Thanks. Bitte schön, Herr Neid. Yeah. That verb is really hanging out. I guess it's okay. It's better than Latin, where you can put well, the words in any order. I guess I'd better get going. Whatever you well, think sounds nice. Enjoy your stay. Or at least such was written Latin. We don't know a whole lot. As oh yeah, that awning looks see, like bacon. See, I'm saying. I never noticed that. The old family tree does go back a ways. Wow, I bet you can buy that now. That was way before the, the bacon mm. explosion of Ot 3. Mm. Or whenever the fuck that was. When everyone became obsessed with bacon. Bacon's good. It's fine. It's food. Lots of foods are good. We also like to salt everything nowadays. Mm. But not with like ordinary salt, with fancy salt. Ooh, and you need a salt grinder because I don't know. Mm. Because people are silly. Salt grinder. Yep. For freshness. Like if you need a certain salt distribution. Hi. You again? What is it now? 
I've Shut up. I've got paperwork. Tree. You can't just use the thing on him. You have to talk to him and then insist that you are. I tell you, I am a Ritter of Rittersburg. And I tell you, I need proof. You can't just show it to him. Oh, well. Why not? Well, we're done. Here you go. I see. <laughs> well, I must congratulate you. I had no idea. Your family owns Schloss Ritte in Rittersburg? Why, yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm sorry if I have been rude for an American, an American of your type. Well, <laughs> I bow to your lineage, Herr Knight. Think nothing of it, uh, old man. <sighs> when do we get started? It's Xavier, sir, and I'm afraid we don't. Having the proper papers is only the beginning. You must still be invited to join by a current member. Wait a minute. You told me you wanted a family tree, and I got you one. I don't appreciate being strung along like some poor relation. Might I interrupt? I couldn't help but overhear. Zeva, are you bullying our guest? Entschuldige Sie bitte die Unterbrechung, aber er besteht darauf, mit Ihnen zu sprechen. Er gehört zur Ritter's family von Rittersburg. You are a member of the Ritter family? Of Rittersburg, Bavaria? Yes. What used to be Bavaria, anyway? Well, it will always be Bavaria to us. Might I see those papers? Mm, I see. Well, you must tell me all about how you ended up in America, Herr Ritter, and about your hunting there. You are a hunter, are you not? It's night now, Gabriel Knight. And yeah, I hunt. Shadows. Absolutely. Very good. Gabriel Knight. Gabriel, like the angel. Join us. My name is von Glover. Baron Friedrich von Glover. But Baron. Herr Knight is right. We mustn't be so stuffy. I'm formally inviting him. Come. Meet my friends. Chin up, Saver. That's a good man. Ich möchte das nicht hier mit Ihnen besprechen. Ich bitte um Entschuldigung. Ich habe wirklich keine Ahnung, warum. Gentlemen, yeah. I'd like you to meet Herr Knight. Herr Knight is a hunting enthusiast from America. He will be joining us for a while as my guest. It will give us a chance to stimulate our language skills and perhaps our brains as well, no? Let me introduce you. Herr Knight, this is Baron von Zell. Herr Dr. Klingman, we've met. I'll be darned. Small world, hey, Doc? <laughs> the distinguished gentleman at the bar is Herr von Eigner. A pleasure, Herr Knight. Next to him, Herr Hahnemann. Guten Abend. English Herr Hahnemann. We want to be hospitable. Herr Hahnemann is a politician, and they always try to get away with things. You must be firm. Don't forget about me. And this is our Herr Price. Why does everybody have a hair price? And by far, it's the best of the group. Hmm. He's interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. At night. What? what? Does my argument for this being a gay parable <laughs> need any further well, evidence? Nice to meet all of you. Well, this part Hopefully certainly we'll be, uh, seems sort of hunting together soon. Let's on so physical. I mean, it's no right like now, He Man cartoon. More relaxing activities. Like drinking beer right there, huh? <laughs> Good idea. Shall we? Pour her night some beer, Hanneman. Or perhaps you would care for wine instead. Beer is fine. And he drinks beer too. It's wonderful. Yeah, who would have thought Americans drinking beer? Tut mir leid, Sie zu unterbrechen, Herr Baron. Aber ich muss leider gehen. You may go if you wish, Gar. All he said was, unfortunately, I have to leave. Mm. Excuse me. I should leave too, Baron. I have work. 
Good night to you all. Certainly those two My God, I never perturbed. thought I'd see the day when two good Germans walk out on two full mugs of Weizen beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your vices, and I have mine. I'm afraid to say so, gentlemen, but I have an appointment in a few minutes. Baron, my lord and master, good night to you. Good night. I am intrigued. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Good night. You know, not that there's anything I must wrong apologize with that. for no. I'm just saying. Apparently, this is not the best evening for a new arrival. You've been very kind. I'm kind of tuckered out myself, actually. Perhaps I could uh, come by tomorrow. Oh, please do. We normally meet here in the evening. But you may come here anytime you wish. I'll inform Xeva. Take my card. It has my home address. If you care to chat, come by. Sure thing. Thank you. Good night. Gentlemen. Good night tonight. Uh, schlaf gut. Well, we certainly have a number of suspects now, don't we? Also. Yeah. Bellen. Yep. And the, uh, or this is mm -hmm. a total wild goose chase. 